What up, Internet? The king of predictions strike again. Hi, everybody. It's the Quattro. Scootaloo. Here to bring y'all, you know, that quick tag on NXT Tuesday night. The show opens up with Rock. Well, the show technically opens up with a recap of Deadline. Then it opens up with Roxanne Perez in the ring trying to talk about, you know, her accomplishment. Loud ass, brash ass. Grayson Waller comes like, hey, let me park my car, blah, 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 blah. He starts spouting a bunch of stuff. Roxanne is like, hey, yo, Waller, you not the only iron survivor. Matter of fact, you wasn't even the first iron survivor. And, you know, he was talking about how Roxanne will never be champ, blah, blah, blah. Braun comes out there and was like, hey, yo, Waller, shut the fuck up. I didn't say those words, but shut the fuck up. She has more heart than you. She did it from the number one position, blah, 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 blah. And then the segment truly ends with Rose hitting um, Perez in the back with the title. Then it cuts to JD in the trainer's area getting checked out. Creed brothers come in. JD was like saying his stuff. You know how creepy and weird he is, but It seems to always happen when I do a quick tag. It ain't a quick tag without a scoop yarn. I mean, I'm going to just get that trademark. The scoop yarn. But all in all, the trash talking is going to lead to JD versus Brutus. Then it cuts back. Perez is getting up saying, hey, yo, damn waiting until New Year's Eve. I want my title match tonight. Rose was like, I right, fam, cool. You can waste your opportunity if you want. Um, then we get a segment of Wesley coming to the ring. Stax attacks him from behind. It leads out there. Boom. First match of the night. Wesley versus Stax. Uh, Wesley gets the W. Dijak, well, sorry. Dijak comes out there looking all Dijakness. And Tony D comes up and starts beating up on Dijak. I'm sorry. Oh, not Dijak. Sorry. Wesley. Most likely, that's going to lead to a triple threat. Dijak versus Wes versus Tony for the North American title. Toxic Attractions, JC Jane, Gigi Dolan versus Tatum Paxley, Ivy Nile. It's kind of that jockeying for position because even Caden and Katana were out there, and it's kind of like that who's going to be next up. Um, at one point in the match, Ivy got thrown into basically Booker, Casey, and Katana. They pull Toxic Attraction out. It leads into a whole scuffle. It pulled apart. Later on in the night, they show that the scuffle was still going on. From that, next week's NXT Triple Threat Women's Tag Team match, Toxic Attraction versus Ivy Nile, Tatum Paxley versus Katana Chance, Caden Carter for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championships. Um, Trick and Mello have a little segment about, you know, Mello was like, I didn't miss. It's just, I just didn't win. They did. They were showing his moment when Axum jumped off the penalty box and how his face was all like, and Melo said one of the funniest things because he was like, Trick, send me that picture. Matter of fact, delete that picture. And <laughs> as Melo was walking off, Trick was like, I can't delete it. It's on Twitter. <laughs> you know the way he Trick talked. But from that, later on, Axum has a little interview and next week, Axum Versus Carmelo. Uh, Von Wagner, Odyssey Jones. Um, you know, it was a big beefy boy brawl, you know. Big meaty man bumping me. Um, at one point, Robert Stone tries to take the sweater of Enofe, because, you know, Odyssey rolls with Enofe and uh, 
uh, uh, blade. He tries to take the sweater. And no fate chases him in the ring, which causes a distraction. Blade hits Va Wagner with a drop kick. Odyssey hits Wagner with a, a flying crossbody. One, two, three. Uh, Odyssey Jones gets the W. Bernal's having his little weekly interview time with uh, McKenzie and he's trying to figure out what he's going to call his fan base. And I think as of now, big body believers. Well, big body Javi goes against Ikem and Jiro. Jiro gets the W. <laughs> Wendy Chu has a segment saying, you know, she was happy Cora J didn't win. And that, you know, she needs to find a way to get back on track. Other little things. New Day, the brand new WWE-NXT Tag Team Champions come out there. And Big Book was salty. Even Kofi made a reference talking about, yeah, I don't want Book to be over there saltier than he was. But per them coming out saying that thing, Kofi is now 15-time tag champ, which Book was like, well, I'm 16. I'm 16. I did research. Um, Kofi is now a triple crown champion as singles and tag. And this is, I, uh, this is Xavier's first NXT championship because he didn't spend a lot of time in NXT, so he never got a chance to win a championship. Pretty Deadly comes out saying blah, 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 a bunch of stuff, talking about how they want to rematch everything. And New Day was like, we know y'all Brits. All you got to do is say the national anthem. Brooks and uh, Jensen. Is it Brooks and Jensen? Briggs and Jensen, because Brooks and Jensen is the... Briggs and Jensen come out and was like, hey, we heard that. We'll do it. They said a national anthem. New Day was like, well, hey, we'll get you the match. So next week, New Day defends the title against Briggs and Jensen. They're now also playing to this whole fact that Fallon Henley's parents is having trouble with the bar. Uh, there was a scene where Jensen tells Kiana about this. So I'm pretty sure it's going to lead to Kiana buying the bar. And I'm still wondering, what does this have to do with wrestling. Uh, Madonna versus uh, Brutus Creed. Uh, Madonna at one point tries to cheat, use a chair. In this year, of course, you know, they've been wanting to fight the Creed brothers at their best, but they haven't been 100% because Julius, not, yeah, Julius hasn't been cleared yet. So they take the chair from Madonna, other little moments. Uh, Madonna hits that devil inside on the outside, the devil inside on the inside. Madonna gets the dub. <laughs> Madonna gets big dubs. Um, we get a Zoe Stark interview talking about how, yeah, she didn't win, blah, 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 but Nikita ain't worth it to be in her ring. So I don't think that match was announced for next week. But at some point, we're going to get Nikita versus Stark to blow off their feud. Isla Dunn had a little segment talking about, you know, about her witchy powers and things of that nature. Uh, next up, we get Amari Miller versus the debut in Lyra Vicaria. Uh, if you're familiar with NXT UK, she was, I think, how you said the name? Afi? Ify? Ify Valkyrie? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, which I'm pretty sure I am, don't come for me. I'm sorry. But she's finally making that jump from the UK over. She gets an impressive victory. And that frog splash she did to win looked just stiff. Like she, like she just hits that move stiff. But yeah, I didn't realize her style was so brawler. Like I didn't realize she was such a, like a brawler MMA-ish type fighter because I never got a chance to watch her in NXT UK, but yeah, she gets the dub over Miller. Um, I can't remember when this happened, but I'm going to say it now. Electra Lopez was back in the back with a bunch of people. 
Papa talking about, yeah, see, I told y'all, Indy couldn't do it. Anytime she goes for the big one, she never get it. Indy come through with a big boot and just blow. They get to scuffling. From that, next week, Electra Lopez, Indy Hartwell. We'll see what happens. Uh, Duke Hudson going against Damon Kemp. Um, I guess there's still the intentions of what's happening with um, Drew Gulak. Because at one early in the night, Hudson was shaking Gulak's hand, which made uh Andre Chase like, "Hey, whose side are you on?" Whatever, whatever. He comes out there again. Chase was trying to talk to him, and I think he made the reference. Well, I'm not watching Duke. I'm watching Kemp. Something like that. Duke gets the W. Uh, wasn't nothing too spectacular with this match, honestly. Duke gets the W. Then we get the main event for the NXT Women's Championship. Mandy Rose with her 413-day reign on the line against one Roxanne Perez. Of course, Book was just eating this up. You know, the fact that she was reality youngest reality wrestling champion. He even mentioned that she was the first all-age women's champion and that she could potentially become the youngest NXT Women's Champion. Um, like I said earlier, the predictions, because I said in that NXT deadline review recap, I figured the two winners of the Iron Survivors was going to win. It felt like this was a title change. Uh, I don't know what it was. I don't know. I guess it felt like it was kind of going through the motions because, I mean, it wasn't even given a lot of time, really, too. I think it was only really given roughly like 15 or so minutes, but they was going through the motions, of course. Mandy hits the knee. Perez kicks out. Mandy goes for different submissions and things like that. You know, she was really the whole fighting coming back. Eventually, Roxanne hits Pop Rocks and this is the one thing I didn't like personally to say Mandy has been so dominant. She only hit one pop rocks. Now I'm not saying this pop rock pop rocks is such a protected finisher, but knowing the fact that Mandy has such a dominant reign, they should have tried to make it more grand. Like maybe, excuse me, that maybe Perez should have did an avalanche pop rocks. Or maybe Mandy probably didn't feel comfortable taking the avalanche pot rocks. But I feel like it should have been more of a grand finish than just one. Like maybe she should have did one, picked her up again, did another one. But one pot rocks, one, two, three. Brand new NXT Women's Champion, Roxanne Perez. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if New Year's Evil, they run it back. Then... I wouldn't be surprised come Vengeance Day, either Cora Jade. I can see Cora Jade. Because Cora Jade will be all like, hey, I didn't beat you. You never, you only beat me once. Somebody will be her first challenge besides Mandy. But all in all, that was NXT. A new women's champion's crown. We have two tag team title matches next week. Uh, we'll see where it goes. I'm Scooty Lou, aka the Quattro. Uh, shout outs to the homies, Jugs, Dizzle, Jaeger. And until next time, tag team, tag nation, tag universe, tag galaxy. Yeah, throw it up there with me. You know what I'm saying? Put it up to the camera. And you got the tag out. Peace.